What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Now today I wanted to kind of talk about some of the fitness YouTubers that are out there that are doing these five, six, seven, eight thousand calorie challenges and they're just stuffing their faces with cheat meals and cheat foods and junk foods, all the good stuff, you know, all the American delight that there is. And so I kind of wanted to dive deeper into the science behind that and just honestly talk about it with you guys. And at the same time, I'm actually gonna be hitting a workout. So I'm gonna work out, we're gonna chat about it, how it's actually possible. And at the end of this video, I might actually just show you guys how to do one of those in my next video. So stay tuned, make sure you like, subscribe, watch the video all the way through. You'll be my best friend if you do those things and it greatly supports my channel. And guys, let's go ahead and get this video started. All right guys, so I'm actually gonna start out with some arm blasters over here. So I like, I like to use these guys to, to really just, you know, take everything away from the triceps, take away swinging motion, and really isolate the biceps. much the way that the cheat meals work is and this is total bro science like I'm not Jeff Nippard where I do like research upon research on research this is what I've been told this is how it's worked for me in the past and this is what I'm gonna share with you guys so uh, the biggest thing with doing these cheat meals is most of these people are on actual regimens for nutrition so when you go to these fitness youtubers uh, when you get so like focused and studious with the nutrition aspect of building your body, you start to understand food differently. Food is no longer something that you enjoy. Food is more so fuel for your body. So instead of looking at like, oh shoot, I could only eat, you know, this or chicken and broccoli, uh, most bodybuilders, physique competitors think in terms of, okay, well, these are the amount of macros I need to hit throughout the day. How can I optimize these macros and get the most nutrients possible out of it. And there's a lot of hacks that you can do and they still eat a ton of really good food, but they're, they're focused on this caloric intake throughout the week that maybe once a week, or if they don't do once a week, maybe once a month, they can do something like a cheat meal or a cheat day. And doing something like that so infrequently, it doesn't necessarily do so much damage to the body. Not everyone has those specific, um, I guess, parts of their life happening for them. I personally don't. My metabolism is not absolutely amazing. I don't eat all the time for cheat meals, uh, or I don't, I don't do like food challenges all the time, like Eric the Electric, and I don't have any issues with hunger. I just, I just want to enjoy pizza. So today I want to talk to you guys about how you can do that and start implementing those in your life, or if you want to do a cheat day video, this is gonna be how you can do that without ha absolutely destroying your physique, okay? So you take, you take your dumbbells like this and you curl it upwards and you really get the, get that flex on. So you check this out, boom. Then you do it on the other side, just like that. You try not to swing. And so I really like doing these suckers because they're a lot of fun. big like myth busting thing is that when like a YouTuber shows up and they're like, hey, guess what? I'm gonna eat all this junk food. A lot of people think like, oh my gosh, they eat like that all the time and they're still fit. How's that possible? They don't do it all the time. Trust me guys. Like if they did it all the time, they would gain weight. So, so many fitness YouTubers have said this and I'm gonna, I'm gonna add my two cents to it. But honestly, if you're eating more calories than you're expending, you're gonna gain weight. 
If you're eating less calories than you're expending, you're gonna lose weight. If you're eating the same amount of calories that you're expending, you're gonna stay the same weight. And that is the rule of thumb, unless you have some sort of hormonal issue um, where uh, your body tends to hold on to fats a little bit more, energy expenditure is messed up. So that's basically what it comes down to. And the cool myth that people think too, and this is like, this is kind of funny, is that people think that when you're on a diet, it's like this extreme, like, oh my gosh, I can't eat any good food. And that's honestly a lie. Like, I personally don't do cheat days. I just do cheat meals, and I do those once a week. So let me know in the comments down below if you want to see what a cheat meal looks like for me. And trust me, I go ham. This last week, I actually had donuts, Taco Bell, Pizza Pie Cafe. We ordered like the Oreo pizza. So it was like, oh, it was so good. We even had to go back to get more tacos because I didn't even get enough tacos. And only on my cheat meals do I actually eat until I'm quote unquote full or satisfied. You know, I I eat a lot of food. And it's, it's just crazy to see the amounts of food that I'm able to eat and then still be able to bounce back and enjoy the foods that I have throughout the week. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Okay, so bringing the bar right over here. I'm gonna bring it on up, curling my wrists down backwards and focusing in right on the, here, I'm gonna show you on this side. So see how my wrists are down? That way I'm focusing all of the energy straight on those biceps and I'm contracting hard. That's one of the biggest things people don't do when they're um, working their biceps, they forget to contract. They're like, let's get the weight from right here to uh, over here. You know, that's not what you wanna do. You wanna really contract all the way through There we go. In order to actually achieve like success doing a cheat meal, you really have to be consistently working out, having proper nutrition, drinking lots of water, all the boring stuff that you may not have really thought about prior to it. You might just like to watch other people indulge with a whole bunch of foods that you restrict for, from yourself. And yeah, that's all that makes for a good YouTube video, guys. But honestly, it's it's a matter of how you want to go about it. There's a way to do it and there's a way not to do it. So I'm gonna do another arm workout here and then I'll chat with you guys again, tell you guys a cool story. Ugh. So I actually had this neighbor who would always like wonder how I was able to eat Domino's pizza once a week. So last year I had this huge like Domino's pizza fix thing and addiction, that's the best word, Domino's Pizza addiction. And I had Domino's Pizza every single week for my cheat meal while I was still losing weight. And it was so funny, because she was just like, how are you so shredded and you're eating Domino's Pizza all the time? Well, it's honestly just a matter of understanding what you're eating throughout the rest of the week, you know? When you uh, curl it up, you really have to focus on the, that top part of the bicep in order for the weight to come up. Oof. Uh. Uh. All right. And so, kind of getting towards the end of what I wanted to talk about with you guys. I know this was like a little of a different type of video. Uh, to do the a, a cheat meal, another trick that people will do is that right after you work out, you actually have this window where your metabolism is just like on fire. So uh, usually my bigger meals that I eat are right after I work out because my body is all like, hey, I just worked out, my muscles are torn down, I need a large capacity of food so I can refuel. And uh, that's usually when I'll target my cheat meal is right after a workout because I know for a fact that most of those calories are gonna be spent wisely by my body instead of just um, added as stored fat. If you guys want me to, I'm gonna go ahead and film. I'm gonna film my cheat meal next week. I think I'm gonna be doing Cafe Rio and cheesecake. I'm not 100% sure, I might add in donuts. So I'm gonna be kind of figuring that out. Might do some like nachos, cheese. I love cheese and cinnamon, so we're gonna go ahead with that. And you guys know that I love donuts. But if you guys liked this video, liked and if you guys liked the whole background bro science on how to actually do the cheat meals, uh, let me know. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. And guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. And like always, deuces. We are kings of the world.
tonight is a playground. We are kings of the world. And 